Sadie Pfeiffer was nine years old when this photo was taken. Sadie worked at a cotton mill in Lancaster, South Carolina in 1908, but Sadie was just one of many children who worked in fields, factories, and mills across the U.S. In the 1900 federal census, it showed that 1.75 million children under the age of 16, that's one in five, were working at this time. During the Industrial Revolution, child labor was essential for growing corporations who wanted cheap labor in a workforce that was less likely to go on strike. On June 2, 1924, Congress approved a constitutional amendment that would regulate labor laws for workers under 18. Laws around child labor would continue to develop and change throughout the early 1900s. But this isn't all just history. Child labor violations have been on the rise since 2015. Violations of child labor laws are incredibly common at places like McDonald's, Subway, Popeye's, Burger King, and other fast food restaurants. But it doesn't stop there. Just last week, the U.S. Department of Labor found that Packers Sanitation Services employed more than 100 immigrant children ages 12 to 17 to do dangerous work cleaning meat packaging facilities across eight different states. The exploitation of children for corporate profits is a long-time tradition of greedy CEOs, and we must press our government and elected officials to hold them accountable. 